Alright, so this just happened. Look, so things took a strange turn during an open mic night event at the King Eddie Saloon near Skid Row in downtown Los Angeles this summer. When 27-year-old Robert Anthony Camus took the stage, nobody expected they were about to get a murder confession. According to MSN, after admitting he'd cut off his electronic monitoring ankle device, Camus proceeded to rap. I killed my buried that dirt. Police were already hot on Camus' trail. Shortly before his big rap debut, his own parents had notified authorities after they found blood and signs of a brutal assault against 31-year-old Amanda Custer inside his bedroom. Neighbors told police they saw Camus put his girlfriend's dead body into the back of his gray Toyota Prius. Once they finally found Camus' car, they discovered blood in the back cargo space and a tool used for digging, but no body. He had apparently buried Custer somewhere in the Los Angeles area. On Wednesday, September 4th, Camus was charged with capital murder for killing Custer. The murder charge even more serious considering Camus was out on bail on a domestic violence case involving Custer at the time he allegedly killed her. Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department investigators said they had authenticated a video filmed at King Eddie Saloon, which should be allowed in court. The person behind the camera, 64-year-old Michael R. Moore, told the Los Angeles Times he realized Camus was the same man from the bar after seeing him in handcuffs on the news the next morning. Morning. What he said, he said it was such force that people just stopped, Moore told the Times. They were shocked. There was a lot of hate in his expression. Custer had been warning courts of Camus' abusive behavior for months. She attempted to get a restraining order, but a judge dismissed her petition. On April 22nd, Camus finally caught up with her and allegedly beat her, strangled her, and threatened her with a taser. Camus was charged with first-degree burglary, injuring a girlfriend, and assault by means of force likely to produce great bodily injury in both of those alleged beatings. At the arraignment, our office requested that bail be set to $150,000, but over the prosecutor's objections, the court released the defense on electronic monitoring. Spokesman for the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office Paul Eakins told the San Gabriel Valley Tribune, the prosecutor requested a protective order, which the court issued. Custer disappeared on July 29th. The same day probation officers noticed the battery on Camus' electronic monitoring was going out. The department notified the court and a bench warrant was issued, but it was too late. Only a few hours later, he would rap, I cut the EMP off my leg and then I'm out. When police tried to arrest him later that morning, he refused to get out of his Prius. The standoff lasted for five hours and only ended once the Los Angeles Police Department SWAT team tossed a canister of tear gas at him. The Los Angeles County District Attorney said Custer's body still hasn't been found. Camus faces either the death penalty or life in prison without the possibility of parole if convicted. Camus is expected in court on October 10th, according to the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department website. So yeah, what do you guys think? This was pretty tragic to say the least, especially because she she had been warning the court time and time again of his abusive behavior and the judge just ignored it so yeah let us know your thoughts in the comment section below hit that subscribe button and notification button to stay up to date on all of our new videos and as always make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com